speaking here with the president of the Grenada Cricket Association, Dwayne Gill, in regards to preparations for the Regional 4-Day Tournament, which will be held here in Grenada next week. Uh, Dwayne, uh, how has preparation been going thus far for the Regional 4-Day Tournament? Yeah, well, it's the West Indies Championships, and we are hosting the fifth round game against the Jamaica Scorpions, and that's the Windrose Volcanoes. Um, from an operational point of view, we are a little bit behind in terms of the, the ground, but the ground staff, the head groundsman, is working quite feverishly to get the ground prepared. So we expect by Thursday, next week Thursday, 10 o'clock, when the first ball is going to be bowled, we expect the ground to be in, in very good condition. Um, of course, the, the long-term aim, or uh, medium-term aim, is to have it ready for the matches in, in February, the 25th and 27th. So it's a kind of work in progress. But we will have it you know, in playable condition come next week, Thursday. Apart from that, even the, the net area where the teams would practice, um, you know, we're going pretty good there. Uh, we've been playing there quite often um, for the last couple of weeks, so there are no challenges there. So when the teams come in on Monday, um, they're going straight into the nets on Tuesday, would we'll continue on Wednesday, and everything should be in place for Thursday. And in regards to the volcanoes, we know that Grenada has been, well, Grenada is their home for the next couple of years. How has the transition been like and in terms of the preparations? Well, all the players have settled well. They're based in Grenada. We have some five local players contracted. So the other 10, obviously, um, would be from around the region, primarily the Windward Islands, and we have two from Barbados. Um, so they've settled well practicing at the National Stadium uh, in the nets and at the outfield. When the stadium is not available, they would practice at last suggest. They've been using the gym. They've been using the, the track on the Karani James side. Um, to do their fitness testing and so on and so forth. And they're in the capable hands of some very good coaches. Um, it's also opportunity for our local coaches to be involved. So we have Junior Murray assisting with the coaching. So it's a good experience for him as well. Um, so all in all, it has been going pretty well considering the players have, have been in and out. Um, but I think most of them are familiar now with the conditions in Grenada and we expect them to capitalize on that and to, and to do their best come Thursday. Well, as it is now, we have five contracted players, but of course we have some others just knocking on the door. You have someone like Ryan John, who's not a contracted player, but he's on a government program. So he has that opportunity to train with the players. And because of that, he was actually selected for the first match of the season and he was selected for the Super 50. So, um, you know, the, the local players, the players on the fringe of Grenada selection, some of them have actually been practicing with the, the Windward. So it, what happens there is that, you know, they've been given the opportunity to train with these guys and the standard of play um, would have improved over the last couple of weeks, a couple of months. Um, so we expect them to continue. We expect some more players to come along and we welcome the, the players to train and that's one of the positives that we can um, have out of this particular arrangement that the Volcanoes would be in Grenada. And finally in terms of the Volcanoes, who are some of the local base players you're looking at in terms of uh, giving a good showing and in terms of their progression for the season thus far? Well you can write off Devon Smith. Um, he hasn't really started the season as he's accustomed to. He hasn't gotten a half century as yet and so we're hoping that he would come good. But there's a young man by the name of Roland Kito, and he is our national captain. He's now the vice captain of the Volcanoes. So he would have struck his maiden 100 against Trinidad and Tobago a couple of weeks ago and would have backed it up with a half century. So he's looking pretty good at 21 year old, and he's bad at number three. So we expect him to continue his good form for the season. Apart from him, the two opening bowlers um, that we've used in the last match, um, both from Mount Horn. So you have Sherman Lewis, who just recently made his test debut. And of course, you have Josh Thomas, who made his first class debut um, in December as well against, um, against Guyana. So Josh has bowled pretty well so far in this tournament, and they're actually bowling the new ball together. So it's a good sign for peace bowling in Grenada and by extension the Windward Islands. And the, the other local player likely to feature um, the wicketkeeper. Dennis Smith, the nephew of, of Devon, he's had some useful scores with the bat um, in the two matches that he would have played. And he's looking quite good. He's always tidy with the gloves. So he's one that, you know, would, would show up the lower, the middle, lower, lower order. So these are the, the main players that, that, would, that should feature for the Windwards. In fact, really the Grenadians for the Windwards.